Life after oil, the clock is ticking for Gulf countries. The Gulf region, traditionally the epicenter of global fossil fuel production, is undergoing a transformative shift toward renewable energy sources. While the prospect of relinquishing the seemingly endless wealth tied to fossil fuel reserves might appear counterintuitive, nations like Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, UAE, and Qatar are embracing this inevitable change, strategically moving away from hydrocarbons and venturing into the promising landscape of renewable power. Hi friend! Welcome to SciTech Buzz channel. Please remember to subscribe to this channel after viewing this video. Kindly watch this until the end in order to receive all the details of this interesting video. Historical Context Understanding the monumental shift in the Gulf's energy landscape requires a glance back at the historical reliance on fossil fuels. For decades, oil has propelled these nations into economic powerhouses, shaping their identity on the world stage. The Gulf countries have been pivotal players in the global energy market, leveraging their oil exports to fuel remarkable economic growth. However, as the world steers towards renewable energy, these nations are confronted with the necessity of redefining their energy strategies. Renewable Power Initiatives In response to the unavoidable global shift towards renewable energy, the Gulf region is making substantial investments in pioneering renewable power projects. Qatar, in preparation for the 2022 FIFA World Cup, went beyond expectations, constructing a solar plant designed to meet an impressive 10% of its peak energy needs. Saudi Arabia, not to be outdone, is forging ahead with Niam, an ambitious desert city that aims to operate exclusively on renewables, boasting its own solar-fueled green hydrogen plant. Simultaneously, the UAE, hosting this year's UN Climate Conference, is on track to establish the world's largest single-site solar power plant. Technical Targets and Challenges Saudi Arabia and the UAE have set formidable targets of producing 50% and 44% of their electricity from renewables by 2030 and 2050, respectively. These ambitious objectives signify a paradigm shift, but despite these efforts, the Gulf countries remain among the top contributors to CO2 emissions, with Qatar leading the list. The challenge lies in transitioning swiftly enough to meet these targets and offsetting the environmental impact of their historical dependence on fossil fuels. Economic Motivations The transition to renewable energy is not solely an altruistic endeavor driven by environmental concerns. According to Mohammed al Saidi, a research associate professor at Qatar University, a primary motivator for this shift is the desire to free up fossil fuel reserves for export, thereby maximizing profits. In 2020, Saudi Arabia was the fourth-largest consumer of oil globally and the sixth-largest consumer of fossil gas, leaving less for lucrative exports. As demand for oil is projected to increase until approximately 2040, the Gulf countries seek to capitalize on their fossil fuel resources while they remain in demand. Additionally, transitioning to a renewable-based economy enhances the country's international image, making them more attractive for foreign investments. Climate Crisis and Regional Challenges While the Gulf nations continue to reap economic benefits from oil exports, they face an existential threat from the climate crisis. As other nations burn fossil fuels sourced from the Gulf, global temperatures are on the rise, disproportionately impacting the region. Predictions of a 4 degree Celsius increase in the Gulf by 2050, should global temperatures rise by 1.5 degrees Celsius, underline the urgency. Heat waves exceeding 50 degrees Celsius have already struck the region, and the average temperatures consistently surpass global averages. As the region grapples with these challenges, the delicate balance between economic prosperity and environmental sustainability becomes increasingly complex. Carbon Capture and Storage In a bid to reconcile exporting fossil fuels with climate change mitigation, the Gulf region is pinning its hopes on carbon capture and storage, CCS, technology. 
While CCS has long been considered a panacea for oil producers, allowing fossil fuels to be burned without contributing to climate change, its large-scale implementation remains elusive. Decades of research have failed to yield widespread solutions, and climate activists consider CCS a diversion from genuine climate action. Presently, less than 0.1%, 43 million tons, of global emissions are captured by CCS, and the current pipeline of projects is estimated to increase to just half a percent by 2030, according to Bloomberg. Despite these challenges, the technology is poised to be a focal point of discussion at the annual UN Climate Summit in the UAE. Diversification Strategies Recognizing the precarious nature of relying solely on oil revenues, Gulf nations are actively diversifying their economies. Saudi Arabia is placing its bets on green hydrogen production, envisioning it as a key player in the future energy landscape. Additionally, the kingdom is exploring renewable-powered commodities production, such as aluminum. On a less sustainable front, the region is also beginning to utilize its hydrocarbons for plastic and petrochemical production. Exporting solar power is touted as a potentially massive economic opportunity, with each square meter of solar-equipped land in the Gulf capable of yielding the same amount of energy annually as 1.1 barrels of oil. Oman's Ambitious Plans Oman stands out as one of the most ambitious nations in the region when it comes to reducing reliance on fossil fuels. In 2017, oil accounted for 39% of Oman's GDP, a figure it aims to reduce to 8.4% by 2040. The nation's strategy involves a deliberate focus on tourism, logistics, and manufacturing as alternative revenue streams. This diversification mirrors the successful model of Dubai, where fossil fuels now contribute only about 5% to the income, with the vast majority derived from tourism, wealthy migrants, and investors, as highlighted by Al Saidi. Environmental and Human Rights Perspectives The Gulf region's transition from oil to renewables is not without controversy. Agnes Calamard, the Secretary-General of Amnesty International, has called on countries such as Saudi Arabia to leave their oil reserves in the ground, citing the urgent need to phase out the fossil fuel industry for the greater good of humanity. Environmentalists and human rights activists underscore the irony of relying on oil revenues while simultaneously being at significant risk from the impacts of climate change. Conclusion In conclusion, the Gulf region's journey toward a post-oil era is marked by ambitious renewable energy projects, economic motivations, and the pressing need to address the looming climate crisis. As these nations navigate the complexities of transitioning their economies, the global community watches closely, hoping for a successful shift toward sustainability and a greener future. The delicate balance between economic prosperity and environmental responsibility encapsulates the overarching challenge facing the Gulf countries as they embrace the inevitable transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy. Stay tuned for further developments on this project. Do let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments section. My friend, if you have found any value in this video, then kindly click on like button as an encouragement to create better quality content. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends, and in your social media network so that this information might benefit others. Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz One channel so that you will not miss out on any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you.